Oh, hey, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be something a little different because I wanna make something. And that's something you guys probably already know because you clicked on the video. Anyway, so yes, I know I should be working on that, but sometimes you just get something in your head and you just wanna make it. And with that, I have a bunch of scrap metal. So I am making a flat bar bender. And that flat bar bender will be used for making exhaust hanger brackets, maybe some small mounting brackets. I don't know, I could bend round, like small round stock. There's a, there's a bunch of uses for it. I've kind of wanted one for a while. And the heavier duty ones get a little expensive. Uh, there's cheaper ones on Amazon that you can probably get for like 40 bucks, and then they go all the way up to like $200. And it's a fabrication tool that I could fabricate. So that's what I'm going to get into today. And I think it's going to be a fun little project. Should be a quick little video and maybe give you guys some ideas to make some tools of your own. Let's get into it. Now, I'm sure if you guys fabricate or do anything even off-road related, you've probably seen some ads for similar style flat bar benders on Facebook and Instagram. And they're awesome. Like, I wanted to buy one really bad. I just can't justify the cost for how much I would use it. <laughs> I don't really have the exact measurements. I'm kind of just guessing, and we'll see. I have three pieces of 3 8 thick flat bar here. With these flat bar benders, or the heavier duty ones, they have a half inch thick hardened pin. Well, and the idea of saving money, I have some grade eight bolts that are half inch thick. So I'm gonna cut these and use these as my pins. Let's see if my brain can figure out uh, measurements and numbers stuff. I think I have my measurements figured out. Honestly though, I'm not gonna know if it works until I finish it, if the pins are too close or too far, but this is just all educated guessing. Uh, this is my base plate. So from here to here, we're gonna cut here. This is gonna be five inches. Uh, so it's gonna be five inches long. This square is gonna be the main center square of where the pins are. Again, these are half inch pins, so half inch circles. I have them a half inch from edge to edge. And then over here, this piece will be my actual bending bar. This will be the end. Again, two half inch holes. This is an inch wide and that'll be my end. And then I'm gonna make pretty much double it up on this end for extra rigidity. So I gotta pretty much make two of these and then I'll weld it together and then I'll have the bar. This is three foot long. I'm super excited right now because I get to try out a new tool I got. It is a circular saw for metal. So yes, this is Milwaukee's metal circular saw. It's 2782-20. And supposedly this cuts through flat metal like it's nothing. And again, that's 3 8 thick. Okay, that's freaking sweet. That's super sweet. Oh, yeah. I'm a big fan of that. That uh, nice clean cut. Thing cut through it way, way, way faster than a cutoff wheel would. And it's not even hot.
slowly getting there. So I have my five inch base, my base support, I should say. It's gonna sit like that so we can get clamped in the vape into a vise. My main bar, my small uh, support, I guess. It's gonna get welded so it's extra thick there. And that's thick, T-H-I-C-C. -C. And then I have uh, three pins made from grade eight bolts. So these are half inch diameter and then I beveled the edges. The base plate gets two solid pins and this guy, the main bar gets one solid pin with one open hole. Press fit in. And then I can weld that up. Perfect. Let's put the other one in. Bada boom. Super sweet. Pretty sweet. So this is my idea for the base. Uh, it's just resting like this now, but I have my three eighths piece, two inch wide like that. My base plate with my pens. This section will be able to get clamped down in a vise. And then obviously this will sit on top. The reason I did five inches is larger vices like this are about five inches wide. So that way I'll have the full surface across the top of the vise. Unfortunately, I think it's as far as I can get until I have my welder back. But I'm pretty happy with the progress today. So hopefully tomorrow I'll get the welder and then I can go ahead, weld these guys in on the bottom, grind this flat, weld that, to that, weld this to this, drill some holes. And yes, you guys may be asking, why are there holes here? That's just the metal. I'm gonna weld all that in so it's solid. So don't worry about that. Hopefully, we'll be uh, bending flat bar soon enough. Got some ideas, gonna keep trucking. We'll see you guys uh, once I get the welder. All right. All right, everyone, we're back at it. I got my welder back from Sam yesterday and it's time to weld this flat bar rod bender together. Now, instead of just jumping into it and MIG welding, which is pretty much all I've been using my machine for lately, if you notice, I have a second tank hooked up to the welder. My cart can't hold two, so I have to have that tank there. But that tank is 100% argon because today we are going to try and TIG this together. I have very, 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 very minimal skills or experience with TIG. So what better project to practice and just get, try a new skill or get better at it. So my machine is a Miller Multimatic 220 ACDC, which means I can do TIG steel, TIG aluminum, MIG, stick. I can do all the fun stuff with this machine. One of the main reasons I bought it because I want to expand my skill set. And this is the perfect project to do that on. So let's do it. Let's jump in and see if I can't mess this up. One of the reasons I'm kind of motivated to uh, try taking this is because of Mike over at Mad Greek Off-Road. You might remember Mike if you've been uh, subscribed to my channel for a while. I bought my front leaf springs off of him. Uh, he's the Black Rhino YJ. So on Instagram, Black Rhino YJ, YouTube, Mad Greek Off-Road. And he's been doing a lot of uh, TIG projects lately. 
And just like he said to me, you can't get good at it if you don't practice. So thank you, Mike, for motivating me to try to get behind the TIG torch more. If you guys haven't checked out Mike's channel, go to Mad Greek Off-Road on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button because he's close to a thousand. So let's get him to a thousand guys. Check out his awesome projects. He's been taking a lot. He's converting his YJ buggy to a four seater for his family. So that's a cool project. And he's also been just doing some cool stuff over there. So make sure to check Mike out. But with that, let's try to take something. I think the best piece to start on is the bottom plate of my base that has the hardened pins in it that I pressed in. So this is all has to get ground down flat. And yeah, so if I mess it up trying to TIG it, I just gotta grind it and redo it. So I'm gonna start with this piece. Now I have my other base piece. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I beveled these edges to hopefully help with uh, getting that penetration into the root. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quick tack weld this in place once I get it set with the MIG. That way I know and then I can work on my TIG. One thing I love about this machine is all I have to do is that and the whole machine is now switched over to MIG, switches the gas and everything. And then vice versa, to switch back to TIG, all I gotta do is tap the pedal. And now we are TIGging. God, I love this machine. Nothing to it but to do it. My fingies started getting pretty hot. Ow. Ow. Need one of them TIG fingers. Once this cools down, then I can drill these holes, get the third solid pin in, and then uh, we should be getting close to being done. This side, not too bad. I, I need lots of practice. Not very good around corners, and then this side is just gross. It's melted together. It's not gonna win any beauty contest.
Well, 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 it's coming along. As you guys saw, I got the fixed pin on the rod pressed in. Just got it welded shut. And then I took care of those three holes in the middle. Gotta let that cool down. And then uh, clean up some of the edges. I think I'm gonna shorten that three foot. I don't think I need three foot. I think, I mean, the leverage is good, but I really don't think I need it. So I'm gonna take some measurements, shorten that up. I think it's a little long. And then uh, clean it up and we're all but done. Well, everyone, I think it's time to close out this video. It's been a few days. Uh, I was hoping to maybe get some like paint or get it coated and looking pretty and nice, but I just didn't get a chance to get around to it. So it's still raw. But I can't close out this video until I show you guys how it works. Uh, I had a piece of scrap aluminum I did some testing on. So let's uh, bend some stuff real quick and then we'll call it a day. This is just some thin aluminum strapping. I know it's super easy to bend, but it's a good uh, demonstration. We have our three pins and you pretty much just between the two fixed pins in the plate and then you have your hard pin there and you just bend stuff around. Not quite a 90 degree bend, but you can really uh, just kind of shape things. Flip it around if you want another bend in here somewhere. Let's, uh, let's do that. Just... Uh, it's pretty cool. Now I do have some eighth inch thick uh, flat bar. This is still good, so I don't wanna waste a lot of this. So I'm just gonna bend the very end of it just to, because this has a little bit more substance in that thin aluminum, but definitely a little tougher to bend, but not, not too bad at all. We'll bend this. Like that, it's freaking sweet. So, got some uh, nice bends in that eighth inch thick bar. I'm super happy with it. I obviously need to practice with it to get bends and figure stuff out. You can do some uh, cool stuff with it. After using this briefly, uh, something I would change is I think I would make these pins longer. So if you guys are gonna build this, uh, make them a little bit longer. I also, when I drilled this hole on the bottom, I opened it up a little too much, so there's a little bit of play on that pin. But I think for what it is, it will do just fine. Something else you guys missed is I did chop and make this shorter and cut a handle out of it. I'm actually, I might drill a couple holes and make a wood grip for it. Might be cool. Um, or just might wrap like a rubber, rubberized grip around that. So I have a nice handle to use. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. It was a fun project. And now I have a useful fabrication tool that I made for zero dollars this is all stuff i already had on hand scrap metal it cost me nothing i'm okay with that and if you guys are like me uh and you find fabrication stuff interesting to watch you want to see the welds especially since this video is kind of based around me practicing and learning tig welding so i'll show you guys my welds even though they're not pretty so on this base plate, that's how that side looks. And this side, I'm sure you guys with a lot of TIG experience can probably rip me apart. And then on this guy, again, that, that side's really disgusting. That side's not as bad. I have a lot to learn. A lot of uh, practice ahead of me, but got to start somewhere. I appreciate you guys watching. I had a lot of fun in this video, and uh, 
We're gonna keep plugging away at stuff. You guys may have noticed the Jeep is flipped around and I have the passenger side, boat side tacked in place. I just gotta finish uh, welding that in and sanding it out. So yes, I did make progress on the Jeep. I'm not forgetting about it. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos cranked out with that thing soon. You guys may have also noticed my roll cage is uh, currently not in the garage because that is somewhere getting something awesome made for it. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Have a good day.